Okay folks, welcome back. This is your old pal Hanu doing another grooming video or shaving video on another product. A couple products actually. Which we have the Micro Touch 1 razor from Rick Harrison Pawn Shop. Um, comes with a stand. Um, comes with 12 Precision Dorco razors. Basically this is just a Dorco rebrand. It's uh, made out of brass molds and chrome. This is the razor itself. Very nice, well-made razor. You can see the micro touch on it. Um, it has a 80 millimeter degree uh, spin handle. As you can see, it's very well done. The polish chrome work on this razor is really nice and well done. Um, the elevator doors work extremely well in this product. Um, it's very reminiscent to the uh, Vanderhagen I reviewed which is a very good razor um, for the price you pay about 13 bucks for this or you can get this for 15 bucks online some of the uh, uh, micro touch one razors do come with a, a carrying case this one doesn't it just comes with the stand and the 12 precision razors uh, next product we got here is uh, actually these two here come from Sally's um, this First one is the Sally's Bomb Aftershave, which is called Burberry's. You can buy these at any Sally's uh, salon stores in your area. That was about, I think, five bucks. Uh, I've used this stuff for about a month now, and I really like it. It's really smooth. It cools down your face uh, from razor burn. Really good product. Uh, next one we got is the... Sally's uh, Knot, uh, Boar's Hair 100% Burberry Knot, it's the same company from this one as well. Um, it's 100% uh, Boar's Hair, it's very stiff, I've been using it for a month and I find it more pleasant than using the 100% um, the, uh, Badger Hair brush from GBS that I bought. Um, this one has like a nylon injected type of plastic uh, handle very small knot, it's not a very big um, boar's hair knot. Um, overall I've used these products for about, this uh, razor here for about a year, it works great. Um, but the blades that come with it, um, I will show you, if you look, it's very deceptive, but if you look in there, it is the Dorco, you know, stainless steel blades from Dorco, this is basically a Dorco product, so it's basically a Dorco razor, it's just rebranded. So, you know, if you wanted to buy a Dorco and without spending the money and saying it was Dorco, you could buy the Micro Touch 1 uh, razor. You know, Dorco is a fine Chinese razor. It's like a Weishi, you know, type of razor. But uh, we're going to get in shaving with this stuff, and we're going to put a Dorco razor in the, uh, into the, uh, the razor itself. We're going to try one of these Dorcos out. I've not tried one of them yet come in this like paper packaging type of stuff uh, um, you know one new platinum type of uh, stainless steel razor blades that's as long as an Astra or you know maybe a um, more quality razor like a Persona blade or a Derby blade or you know blades like that but they, they work pretty good they're about on par with the uh, you know the dollar store type of crappy razors and stuff uh, but we just put a new razor in it, and we're going to um, shave with it, show you what I think about it. Thanks. Welcome back. We got the Barberry um, Sally's Brush ready to go in an all natural bar soap that was pre soaking. And we're just going to get that really soapy, and then we're going to throw that on top of my lather bowl, and we'll make some lather with that. I got my face pre washed in warm water. For the shaving expedition we're about to do here. That. Nice and soapy as you can see, the knot works really well. Uh, we're going to take it in my um, lather bowl and just beat it into a somewhat of a you know, nice little lather. A little bit of soap will actually go a long way. So, you know. Don't be afraid to buy a, an old school shave set. It'll actually save you money long. Uh, it'll save you money long term than having to buy a bunch of uh, fancy 
type of gel soaps and stuff like that. Three dollar bar of soap, last few months. Shaving razor right here, micro one touch razor. Um, we got the blade, the Dorco blade already in there. We just want to make sure it's even. We want to make sure that razor's in there really even. Sometimes you have to tighten down the 80 degree millimeter handle for it. Um, we're going to put some of this uh, stuff on my face. This uh, shaving lather. like this is zero waste folks so remember that you're not polluting the environment when you shave with all shave with an all natural bar of soap we're gonna use micro one touch DE safety razor now Folks, that was the first pass with the micro one touch razor um, and the Dorco blades. Um, Dorco blades are okay, but there's a lot of drag in them. They're not as good as a Persona or an Astro Platinum type of razor. But they're okay, I guess. They're about on par with the dollar store razors. It did nick me a little bit down here. But other than that, I mean, if you uh, get used to using these type of razors, you'll be okay. We're going to go for the second pass. ready to go for the second pass you want to go at an angle like like this with the razor against the skin when you use a DE razor you try to shave it just going down like that it'll ruin your skin That was the third pass. Very aggressive, uh, very, <laughs> very almost dullish type of razor. I'm not a fan of the Dorcos. Okay, we're gonna go for the third pass now. Okay, folks, now we're gonna put on the, uh, Going for the third and final pass, folks, uh, with the Micro One Touch Razor and the Burberry product. We got the, uh, now we're done with the shave with the micro one touch razor and the Dorco blades. Um, we're going to put on the Barbary's uh, Sabille um, aftershave. Um, it's Burberry products made by Sabille. So, uh, shaving products, probably hair salon products. We're going to put some of this stuff on my face. It's their bomb, their version of the bomb. And we're gonna rub it on the face. It's got a cooling, like a like a menthol cooling smell to it. Um, it burns significantly. It's got a nice, pleasant scent. It's not bad for a cheap bomb aftershave. Um, yeah, it goes on really nice. It has a nice little scent. It cools the face down, and you know, gets rid of that razor burn. There you go. My final thoughts on the Buy Sabil products.
is they're excellent. For a very good budget line, you could buy this knot for seven bucks, this boar's hair knot for seven bucks. The aftershave bomb was excellent as well. Um, the micro touch razor was good. I've used other type of razors in it, and it works great with other type of. Uh, it work. The micro touch razor works well with other type of uh, brands of razors, but the Dorcos that they come with kind of are subpar. Um, they drag your face. They they don't really cut very well. They're made in China. I'm not a fan of the blades, but the razor is well made and surprisingly shaves really good with other brands of razors in it. But I basically tested it with the razors that came with the uh, Micro One Touch from Dorco. Basically, it's just a rebranded Dorco. It works well. It's a fine razor for what you get for it. It's like a $15 razor. Um, I highly recommend all three products. They work really well. I hope you all like this video. This has been your old pal Hondo from Hillbilly Tactical doing another uh, budget shave video. What you can do, you put God first, and he puts you first every time. And you know how else you do. God loves you. So does Hondo. Peace. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.